Hey, hustlers, come on in. Bring your Kool Aid, your cocktail, your water, your food, and snacks. Come on, eat with me, this hood girl. Let's say prayers. Father God, I just want to say thank you. 10,000 tons can't thank you enough. Thank you for forgiveness, Lord. Whew. And thank you for blessings seen and unseen. Thank you for new mercies every single day. Lord, have your way in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Let's cheer. I, I should have gotten another bottle of water because I only have a little water, y'all. But look here. Just say thank you to God. That's it. That's all. So, salute, salute. Let's sip, sip this good water. Cheers, sisters. Thank y'all for coming in. All the new, before you leave, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And then hit that bell. Yeah, that's it. That's all. It's simple. Yeah, we, you know what, honey, I'm about to dig in. Let's start this timer though. We have uh, some slow cooked uh, pork uh, roast. We have some green beans with some white potatoes and bacon in it. And we have some garlic mashed potatoes. Yes, I'm ready. I always like to taste my food before I put the hot sauce on. I know I'm, I'm not going to put it on my potatoes. Y'all, Green Giant, I don't like their uh, green beans. They cut them too little for me. It's like, come on, y'all. But they be on sale. <laughs> so you can't even pick them up. They're so little. Little, little cut. There you go, y'all. Yum, yum. Give me some. Let's taste it. It's like stringy. Mm. They got some stringy stuff, too. Mm. That's good. I want some hot sauce. I know I want some hot sauce on my roast, too, y'all. I forgot to do a cooking video, Judy. Honey, because I seasoned that roast, honey. I stuffed it with so much garlic. And then all my seasons that you see, but I added a, spite, a spicy hot mustard and Worcestershire sauce as well. Uh-huh. So it cooked low and slow. Oh, oh, that garlic. Oh, goodness. I'm about to eat my finger, y'all. You can taste that garlic. Mmm. Mmm. I need some hot sauce. I wish y'all could taste that. That's good. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. how are y'all doing today? Y'all? Oh. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. My matchmaking event is slow. I haven't had any suitors. Not one. So I put a video on all my um, social sites to give you details how it works. I should have did that first though, huh? Mm -hmm. So it's out there, y'all. Go find it. It's on... My LinkedIn page, no, it's not on my LinkedIn page. It's on my Instagram page, it's on my Facebook page, and it's on my YouTube page as well. That video. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm. I'm going to tell y'all something. I already told y'all before. These came out that package that David had, had you know, let me taste. I didn't match these, honey. I thought I was going to go back to mashing my fresh potatoes. But this is the garlic mashed potatoes in that bag, the Idaho and potatoes. And you add some more garlic and butter as you whipping that stuff. 
Hmm. Who knew? Something this good can be in a bag. <laughs> That's my last two packages. So they will be on my grocery list for the next weekend. Should God say the same. If I'm alive. Do y'all like that fat on that pork roast? I do. So I put some on my plate. I can eat it. Sometime. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what y'all came to do, but I came to eat. This is good. Mm -hmm. This is so tender. Really tender. Y'all, I was dancing last night. You know what? When you're happy and when you have so much peace in your life, I told y'all on the last video, peace is priceless, period. And when you're happy, you can have so much fun by yourself. And I was into that good music last night after the event. It got me up and I was dancing. And, um... This guy that I dated in 2012, but we never lost contact because he lived next door to my auntie and his mother, not him, his mother does. And uh, we we looked really good together back then and we, 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 <laughs> we had some good fun. Sex was bomb. But after like two or three or four or five or six months, honey, his jealous streak, oh my God. It was ugly. I couldn't do it. I don't do jealousy. I cannot do jealousy. That's what evil spirit that I don't understand how people think is cute. I will run away. Which I did. <laughs> but I saw him recently. When my auntie passed away. Of course he was at the funeral. And. He posted on my dancing video. This really paragraph of a message. And I'm thinking like, dude, you know, this is my social media page. And he was saying how he loved me and let's get in the car and let's, let's talk about our memories and the good times. And we can go out to either lunch or dinner and da 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 And I'm like, and then he, he sent me some DMs. Yeah, well. And he gave me his new phone number. And asked me to call him. So after church, I went and sat on the patio and I said, what the hell? I don't, I don't have nothing to do. So I reached out. He answered the phone. I said, well, um, hello there. Do you know with whom you're speaking with? He said, nobody but that one need a hood. Yeah. So we, we touched on basis from the 2012. That's 10 years ago, y'all. It's amazing that when you're good to people, they don't forget you. It's jealousy. When I told him that, I said, that jealous spirit you had made me bad. He you said, yeah, because you just left. You didn't give me no word. You just left me. Yeah, I did. Uh-huh. Yep. I did. And he wanted to take me out. But then he asked me to go on YouTube and listen to, I don't remember the singer name. He's a guy. And he was he's a soulful guy. And it was a song about, it's called Me Deep and Love, you know. 
So, it was kind of similar. Because that guy, the one that was singing, uh, his, his uh, relationship was 10 years as well. And they were going through some stuff and they broke up. Then they was trying to get together, but they knew it wasn't the right thing to do. It was really a good song, y'all. Uh, uh, he started sending me some text messages. He, he using that L word uh, freely. And he think we better get back together because he said something in that in that text. I'm like, slow your roll. Mm-mm. Throw your roll. He said, he just think things are meant to happen. And sometimes, he said, God give us these signs. I know he do. I have been praying for a husband because I don't want to, I don't want to have sex just to have sex. I want it to be meaningful with somebody that I, I see my life with. You know what I mean? So, but when you leave somebody, it's always for a reason, and the reason was jealousy. He said he's not there anymore. Yeah. I got to see it for myself. But y'all know I move low and slow. <laughs> I don't rush anything. Because I just don't want to make no mistakes. You know what I mean? And back then, but y'all know I don't, I don't, <laughs> this is the funny part. I really don't care about age unless you're a child, of course. I don't do children. I don't want to teach you how to piss in the bathroom and, you know, I don't, I, you know, yeah, we're not going to do that. I'm not going to potty train anybody. Excuse me, y'all. But I said, it's been 10 years, right? <clears throat> and so I said, Jay, how old are you now? He said 49. I was like, what? <laughs> Y'all, back then, I did not know I was 10 years older than that boy. He was, a, no wonder he was ignorant. He was, he was young. He was 38. So that mean I was 48. Oh. <laughs> but y'all know I do date 10 years my junior though. But back then, we met when I was over my auntie's house. He was good to look at, you know. And he, he wasn't he wasn't my dark skinned man either, y'all. <laughs> but we just got to know each other. We didn't jump straight in the bed. But when he first kissed me, I knew, you know, it's, you know, something in that first kiss. That first kiss will make a break. Whatever relationship y'all about to dive in. Mm-hmm. That kiss was bomb. Yeah. And then we did the do. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to leave that right there. But it wasn't that good to, to take that jello stuff down. Mm-hmm. One thing for sure, when you meet somebody and y'all get on to the level where y'all ready to do the nasty, and if the sex is good, it complicates a lot of stuff. Because if you're not too deep into that relationship, you are still trying to learn each other, and then that sex is good, you forget about some stuff because all you want is the good sex. I ain't gonna lie. Because, man. You know, I'm, I'm going into three and a half years of celibacy now. No, he was good. <laughs> uh, he was good. But yeah, y'all, uh, we can just chat. We, we really can just chat. We can. Oh, y'all, I'm for... I put too much fat on here, but here goes some meat right here and a potato.
I don't want that fat. I love it. I put too much. Uh oh. See, I don't want that fat. That's too much. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm so full. Y'all know when y'all cook these pork roasts like this, once it cools down, I'm actually going to cut it in half and I'm going to put one half in the freezer before I, I, I you know, empty them pots off to wash them dishes. Because you can make some good old barbecue sandwiches with this pork, for real. Oh, yeah, I'm full. I'm just trying to get that meat off that fat. It's good. I'm done. Four and four. Mm, mm, mm. And we got seven minutes left, y'all. Oh, my. Oh, I'm four. Yesterday, I went to go see Mother. Mother's is a little ill, but she won't let me read them doctor's reports, though. She won't let me read them. Then I went and spent some time with my baby loud. Mm-hmm. Catch up with some few things. I'm done, y'all. And I am stuffed. Oh, y'all, if I forgot, don't forget to pray for the sick and shut in. As well. We're not going to stay too much longer. Let me cancel this time. It was it's six minutes. We're not going to do that. But y'all, let me read y'all one of these texts this boy sent me. That man, I ain't going to call it boy, boy. Oh, the, the person he told me to watch on YouTube is Jay Morris. And the song is called Knee Deep. So if y'all want to hear it, go... Uh, Excuse me, go read it. I mean, go listen to it. I'm sorry. He says, Sometimes things happen, but let me get out of my own head. It can be just for happy time signs. You know, sometimes we better follow these signs. He said, Okay, baby, I love you, and I mean it from the front to the back. Okay. That's all I can say is, Okay. I mean, it's been 10 years. I get to see if you grew up. I mean, cause you was a little boy when I was doing you. So, and then I went back. I said, well, I'm on, my, on the phone with my sister. He said, well, tell her I said hi. And tell her it ain't nobody but me, Jason, with you. And when we get together, I'm going to sing and dance, babe. I'm going to do both of them. Okay? I'll talk to you later. And I'm like... Okay, he really then went way on another side, y'all, with just one conversation. But um, we got some high talking to do. And I don't know if I like him no more. You know, I got to see if I'm still attracted to you. I got to, I might not like you like that no more. Now, I can use somebody for sex. I ain't going to lie. But sometimes you better be careful who you use for sex because them fools can get crazy. That's why I'm not doing it, y'all. I got two people that I can use for sex. But when I've had them before, it just went so crazy because they got into their feelings too fast. Like, dude, let's just go with the flow. You ain't got to fall in love and all that shit and all that stuff. Don't be doing all that. You know, it takes time to do all that. What you doing? You know, I'll tell you, when the sex is good, it complicates. Now, I know I'm good. I know I'm good. If you don't know how good you are, then you don't know yourself. I think I'm damn good, actually. <laughs> I done ran a few men crazy. And if my close friends know, they'll tell you that they said, yeah, that, that little girl done ran a few men crazy. Crazy. I don't want crazy. This is not time to be crazy more because people, people today, they cut you up and they put you in a trunk and they come back and they shoot up your house and 
Then they, they come back and they kill you and then they kill themselves because they can't see you with no, uh-uh, hell no, not me. Uh -uh, I've learned my lesson a long time ago. You don't play with people's feelings. So, I do want to have sex now. I ain't lying. You know, I went seven years before and then I, and this is going on my three and a half. It's going to be four before I know it. Am I going to have to do seven again? Fourteen? I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to have to go celibate. But I choose to be celibate. Because I want a meaningful relationship. Now, now, you know, whatever happens. Might just meet that one that say, okay, look here. You know, like Zaddy Chunk Chunk and Ellie. You know, they got that open relationship. But that committed relationship. I can do that. I've done that before. His name. Let me not tell you his name. But he fell in love. We weren't supposed to fall in love. We did a pinky promise. He was not, we had, we had told each other that if we should meet anybody else or if we should fall in love, let's come back to the table and let's re-talk about it, you know, because you got to, he didn't do that. He, 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 he did not do what we pinky promised. He fell in love. I'll never forget the day that things changed and I had to cut him off, y'all, because I wasn't ready for no relationship. Which is why I agreed to have that open, you know, committed relationship that we would only sleep with each other. But when he fell in love, he didn't come and sit me down and talk to me. I wasn't ready. I already had blocked all them feelings off. But your sex is good. I'm like, I'm yeah, we're going we gonna to do that. And I wasn't there with him. I didn't have those feelings. I liked him because our sex was fantastic, but I didn't have no love, Jones, and I was still not ready for a relationship either. So when it changed, I cut him off. Off, just like like Jay said, you you left you and you didn't tell me nothing. Yeah, I did. I do. Mm. It's just easy to do when you ain't in love, though. Just saying. <laughs> Because I wasn't in love with either one of them. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to cancel this time. I probably used all that time that was left. Y'all ready to sing? Because y'all know y'all little girl about to get the talking. All right, y'all. Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever y'all do for the rest of this evening, do it good, do it with purpose, and do it with what? Genuine love. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Peace out, my beautiful people. Peace out.